Um, okay, when you're doing your riff, I, I taught you the two octave minor pentatonic in A. So start at five, and I want you to go five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, and ideally keeping your first finger down when you have note pairs so that your hand's stretching. Then I want you to keep going up. Seven, five, seven, five, eight, five. There's your double octave A. And always stopping at the tonic so you hear the beginnings and endings of the octaves. It's an A minor because you're starting at 5, but if you started at 3, it'd be a G minor. If you started at 1, it would be an F minor. Um, okay, and so when you're playing the intro, play it very slowly and just play the D once. And don't stop this until you hit that A chord, that A string. Crucial that you finish the phrase there and then work your way back. We discovered that the D's come on the um, upstrokes of the melody, so it's like. Same thing on the G minor. One of us is changing, but maybe just stop. And this transition, G minor to G minor, A minor to G minor 7, is some work. You can practice it with the upstroke. And then just go back to the A minor. So you're just working those two chords back and forth. And then you're doing lovely here, but when you get to the D minor, you're usually jumping in the gun. So do a full strum. And then the cadence is just one, two, three, four, intro. So, um. Hi. cadence to get into the bridge which we only kind of started it comes from the D minor and then you have to go to an F over G this is a pain in the ass but it's worth it you take a three note F put the root on G replace it with your pinky so that's an F with G in the bass F slash G then you give up the first finger then you resolve to a C major seven which is your C without a first finger so it's is that comes on the heels of this second chorus so it's so in place of the E sus you go and then the bridge begins there and then Molly's six solo begins like uh, eight measures later um, so uh, the only other thing we worked on is with your, uh, with your French song you're playing it beautifully and I encourage you to work on your um, E minor to A7 cadence just keep playing the whole song without any vocals. You just need to get more and more strong with all your bar chords and the form. That one was slowing you down while you sang. The other thing is that the D major 7 and the C sharp half diminished are almost the same shape. That your three outer fingers are in position. You just move them down a whole step and then change the root to C sharp. So when you finish... Set everything here, you just want to go. So, these three fingers are already happy, just leave them where they are, and then move on to the next bit. And don't forget from the last video that the whole song ends on a B minor six, seven, uh, six, seven, seven. So, your final cadence will go.